Hey y'all, welcome back to another week of Brave Kids Art Club. I am so glad that you are back and hopefully you had a fantastic weekend. You were able to get outside and enjoy some nature. Now we get to do some drawing. Are you guys ready to draw? Awesome, okay, well, today's animal is a bird. We're gonna be drawing a very specific type of bird and birds are always fun to draw. There's so many different kinds. They have so many different colors and feathers and I'm just really excited to draw another one. So here's a few hints on which bird we're gonna be drawing today. This bird was named for being kind of chatty and noisy. They're a pretty slow bird and they're blue. That part probably gave it away. You got it, we are drawing a blue jay today. Now these birds are so beautiful. I actually had one that sat outside my window every day when I lived in Texas and I just loved it because they're such beautiful birds. Now we get to draw one, so let's make sure we have everything that we need to get started. All right, make sure you have a piece of paper out and then you're gonna need a pencil, you're gonna need an eraser, and then a black marker or a pen because we're gonna do the outline with that and then afterwards we're gonna erase all of the under sketch. And at the very end, we're gonna do some coloring. Now, you I'm not sure if we're gonna use markers or not. Maybe you use paint or crayons or colored pencils, whatever you wanna use, I'm sure that's perfectly fine. Okay, let's start with our sketch. Now, you'll notice that I have my sketch pad in portrait mode here, at the, like just tall and skinny, because I'm gonna have my blue jay sitting up on a branch. So I'm gonna kinda of do this, just kinda of figure out where the body is. Now, the body may not just end up being this exact shape, but this will at least give us, actually I'm going to start up a little higher. This will give us an idea of where the body is going to be. So you'll notice that it's a little bit angled to the left. There we go. I need to leave enough room for that tail. So the tail is going to be right about here. And I'm going to kind of flare it out a little bit. Kind of like, kind of like this. So I'll draw another line right there, line right there. And then I'm going to draw another line in here. A little bit longer, another line over here, and then one right in the middle. Even a little bit longer. And so now I'm going to use these as a guide. So I figured I might as well just get this tail done out of the way. I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to take this one, kind of just do a U shape right there, and then we'll connect all of these. And it's, the reason why we're doing these lines will make sense in a little bit because they have very specific markings on their feathers that I want to make sure that we get so this looks just like a blue jay because they have some really cool markings. Okay, so now we'll go down there. We'll just kind of connect those kind of like that. Got it? Now let's do a circle up here for the head right up here. Okay, so this is why we sketch. So now we can see that everything fits within our page, which is fantastic. Uh, and then maybe what we'll do is we'll add a little line right here, all the way through over here. And this is going to be our tree branch that it's gonna be on. And we'll add more details to it in a second, but let's just kinda map out what we have here. Now they have a pretty long beak. So we're gonna do a line right out here we're gonna kinda of angle it down. We're gonna do the same thing on this side and do it right underneath there. We'll kinda of go into this a little bit. Now I don't think that's long enough for the size of my bird, so I'm gonna go out a little bit further. Go down, like that. Our blue jay has a very distinctive crest. That's this part on the top of their head that kind of sticks out, kind of like a cowlick on the back of our hair. <laughs> uh, I definitely have one of those where my hair sticks up in the back sometimes. So that's what we're gonna be drawing right here. So let's just kind of follow the main circle that we've already drawn. Keep going up here, go to the top. And then instead of following it all the way around, we're gonna kind of do this little thing. We're gonna do a little whoop, a little swoosh back there. And then we can lightly, I mean, you can start doing this kind of pattern if you want, or you can just do like a little curve right there, just one solid line. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it broken up like that so that looks like the, it's kind of got a little messy feathers in the back. And then from there, I'm gonna go follow this line back down. Let's see, is that good enough? Yeah, we'll follow that line back down, but maybe we'll just kind of stray from it a little bit just to make the neck a little bit thicker. And then actually, let's do this side next. Let's do this other part of the neck, which is going to be doing the opposite of that, 
that circle here. We're not going to follow that line. We're just going to do a little shape like that, a little curve. Alrighty, so now you'll notice that it doesn't quite match up, and that's okay. We're just going to make it match up. So all you have to do is just, you can kind of catch up with the rest of that, that oval shape, but just match it to that line, and then do the same thing over here. So it's going to go over just a little bit more than what we thought it was. And now we caught up with the line. We're going to follow it down. We're now, let's do one more wing in here. I thought it was interesting that they're not that fast. I don't know why I assumed that they would be fast, but... They're pretty, they're pretty slow. I think they only go like 25 miles an hour. When in comparison, like ducks can go like 60 miles an hour and some falcons, I think, falcons, hawks, they can go up to like 200 miles an hour. So yeah, they're not very fast in terms of birds. Okay, so you see what I'm doing? I'm drawing another little oval inside of here, but I'm going to have it go all the way to this corner right here. So I'm gonna go down and match it up in that corner. There we go. And that's gonna be the edge of where the wings are gonna be. And then I'm gonna kinda of catch up right there and just have them meet. So I'll erase all this outer stuff because I don't need that. All right, it's looking pretty good. All right, so let's add those little feet on there. You can just do it by just doing like a line right there if you want. All right, so let's put one of those toes going back gripping on this side and then we're going to have the other two gripping the other side of the the log or the tree branch so we can just kind of go like this just do some little lines right there on the other side we can just assume that they're on the other side grabbing around and if you want to if you feel like you need to draw another line to show the other foot that's fine too alrighty let's add the eyes now we know maybe we should add the end of the beak first though let's do this we're going to kind of do a little shape like that Go down and then we'll have it kind of come back in right there. So you know why blue jays are called blue jays? Well a jay used to be a person that was loud and annoying and obnoxious and kind of always had to talk, always had to get a word in. And they say blue jays are really loud and they are really chatty. They make a lot of noises so they called it a jay and because it's blue they call it a blue jay. Alright we're going to put the eyeball right here big circle. Now we call it a blue jay and we see a blue jay as being a blue color but actually their wings are not blue at all. They're actually more like a brown color and the only reason we see it as blue is something called light scattering. I'm not going to dive way into that because I really don't understand it fully but it's just the way that lights reflected off of their wings that make it look like that blue color and that's how we see it. But they're more of like a brown color actually. Okay let's finish that eyeball. I'm going to do a big pupil here, that black part in their eye. I'm going to do it right here. It's going to be looking down over there, maybe looking at some ants. They do like to eat ants. They actually do something really cool with the ants. Let me draw a line here first before I go into that. I'm going to draw a line kind of from the point to this point right here. Like that. So ants kind of have like this bitter taste to them because of this certain stuff that's on their body. And it kind of keeps things from eating them. But, you know, blue jays don't like that. And they actually wipe off all that stuff on the wings. It's called like formic acid. And it wipes it on their wings and it keeps other bugs and mites and things that would get on the, the blue jays' wings. It would keep it away from them, keep them cleaner, which is really fascinating. So they use the stuff that the ants use on their own wings by rubbing on it. They call it anting. And then it also makes it so the ants are tasty because the bitter taste is gone now. Okay, I'm going to do a few things really quick. I'm going to erase some of these inner lines here. And that's why we do some of our sketching because that was a great guide for us. But now we need to work more towards our final drawing. Now let's do some markings. So one of the markings that they have is this black shape that kind of goes from here to the other side of their eye and kind of goes up here. So we'll connect it right here to the base of that last little part of the crest that we did. And then it kind of goes from that point. You bring that down, we'll do a curve right there to this point where the neck meets up with the body right there. And that's not it. What we'll do now is we'll take this and we do like a little shape like this. And a little curve right there and we'll meet up in the corner and all of this stuff right here is going to be black. 
So I'm leaving that right there so that I know to color that in. Otherwise I might forget. So that part's gonna be black. And then it's also a little that black carries over to the other side of the eye a little bit and they have some marking like right here. This is all black, all this, and even some little bit under there. Alrighty, so now let's do this. We're gonna grab the this corner, kind of follow it in and then just drop down a little bit like this. Oops, I'm doing a very bad job of this. Yep, there we go, do a little curve right there. All right, so now in the wing, because we have like a kind of a cross striped pattern, I'm gonna make it easy on us by just doing a few lines like this. Like this. They kind of go in towards the middle a little bit. And then I'm gonna draw another line right here, a little curve. And we're not gonna do anything in there with, uh, with the stripes, but right here, we're gonna add a bunch of stripes. And I'll show you which way I'm gonna do it. I'm probably just gonna do them with the marker because I know they're gonna be black. Okay, so it's gonna be like this. I'm gonna draw a line, 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 line. And then I'm going to do right in the middle, I'm gonna kinda of do it that way on the next line. Does that make sense? So I do my lines right there and then I'm gonna, do, then I'm gonna start doing offset in the middle. And if you don't wanna do it like this because it's a little tricky, as long as you have some lines in there and some stripes, it's totally fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just how I'm doing it. This is probably not even exactly what a blue jay looks like but it's uh, pretty close and I'm trying to copy some of their markings the best I can. And then down here, we kind of have a similar thing where I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do them curved right here, like this. Like that shape, a bunch of U's. And then again, I'm gonna offset them, right? And I'm just gonna do kind of straight lines right here. Pew, pew, pew. Over there, boom, boom. Right in the middle of all the other ones. Maybe, oh, maybe we'll add a few more little feathers right here because it does have more feathers. Kind of do that. We have a part of the tree, another part of the branch. Maybe this one goes out a little bit further. And then remember to erase this part that you don't want to fill in with the marker because at least I have that problem where I accidentally fill them in a little bit. All right, so now we get to start with our marker and do our outline. All right, I'm gonna start here with our head, or I should say the neck. Do another curve. Now you know how I said blue jays are really loud and noisy? Well, they're really smart and they can actually mimic other bird sounds, especially hawk sounds, because hawks like to attack other smaller birds. And so they, they become, the hawks hunt the other birds. So the blue jay is actually kind of like an alarm system for the rest of the birds in the forest because they will make, they'll actually mimic noises like a hawk noise or they'll make noises to tell all the other birds that a hawk's coming. Isn't that cool? So it tells them all that there's hawks coming and so they all know if they hear the blue jay yelling out that they need to leave otherwise they're going to get, could be a chance to get eaten by a hawk. Now I thought that was really nice of blue jays, right? They'll go out and warn everybody in the forest. They're just like little protectors of the forest. How nice of them. But then I realized they also use, they can also mimic that hawk sound and they'll use it and it scares off all the other birds. Especially if something's like falling on the ground, they want to eat it and they don't want other birds to get their food. And then they'll use that hawk sound. All the other birds leave and they can eat by themselves. So that's not probably the nicest thing in the world, but it is a smart thing. <laughs> and you can't be a protector 100% of the time. Maybe he just needed a break and was hungry. <laughs> All right, let's do that tail. Ooh, let's do that. Long tail. Oops, my hand got a little jerky there. And the last part of that tail, like that. All right, now let's draw that beak. Like that. There we go. And let's draw the top of the head with that, what they call a crest with people. It's called calyx. <laughs> It's 
kind of like having a bad hair day, but its hair looks pretty good if that's if that's what's going on. It's got a cool look to it. I love that. Do you know any other birds that have crests like that? Cardinals have crests? That'd be really cool to, to maybe we'll draw a cardinal sometime soon. Those are really pretty red birds. There we go, do that eye. So I'm gonna draw the pupil a little bit smaller and then I'm gonna erase that stuff inside there so I can see. Oh, see my eyeball's a little too small now. So I'm gonna make it bigger, but I had to kind of see where I was at. There we go. Okay, so like I said, this area I'm gonna have, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna color in black. So because I already know that's the color I'm gonna do it, then I'm just gonna color that in right now with my marker. If you wanna change the color to a different dark color or something, then wait on the filling it in part. <laughs> I'll do that really quick. Yeah, they have really cool markings. All right, so let's think about this part. So I kinda wanna leave a little bit of room away from the eye so it doesn't all turn into one big blob, right? But maybe I'll just kind of go like that under here. Uh, there we go. And then up here, I'll just kind of do a little bit. I'll fill it in just a little bit. There we go. Now, we can do a line right here. I can see it. There, I'll do a line right there. And then we can color in maybe the bottom part black, or you can just leave a little line right there. You see that? I didn't color it all the way in, so you can kind of see where the bill ends. Sometimes that's kind of a way I kind of cheat to make it so you can still see the bottom of the bill. And then we can color this maybe with a blue color, a dark blue color. Do the foot. I'm gonna kind of have it be a little bit thicker. Their feet are black, so this works out. I'm gonna draw those toes. There we go. You will draw that other one that's hidden back there. And let's draw our log. Now maybe you want to make your log, or you're not log, I keep calling it a log, it's a tree branch. <laughs> kind of lumpy tree branch, so you can kind of have your hand shake a little bit as you're drawing your line. There you go. That way if you don't draw a perfect line, because you probably won't unless you use a ruler, that you will have, it'll just look like you meant to, because you did. It looks like the bark on a, on a tree branch. When your hand gets all shaky. Like my hand. <laughs> there we go. But I think, oh, my last thing is I need to add these these lines. Now they are, I'm gonna make them a little bit thicker. So you'll notice these lines, I'm just gonna thicken them up just a little bit. So they don't just look like skinny little lines. Cause they actually, they're, they're dark uh, stripes on their feathers. So I wanna make sure that we get to see that. Now it doesn't have to be perfect here. While I'm doing this, I want to remind you of the fact that you guys can submit your own ideas for, 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 not, I was going to say birds, but any animal. What suggestions do you have for animals that we need to draw next? I would love to hear your ideas and then just tell your parents to reach out to us either on Instagram at Brave Kids Art Club or they can just email us or on Facebook, however they want to connect with us. They can just tell us what animals you want to draw next. Now, even if we've drawn a bear before, like we did yesterday, or I should say yesterday, last week, we drew a bear, maybe you want to draw a different type of bear. And that's totally fine. So let's uh, maybe we want to draw. I was actually thinking about a polar bear. <laughs> I think a polar bear would be awesome, but I'm just worried about the color. They are white. And so it might be kind of tricky. We'll have to figure out a workaround because I still want to draw a polar bear. But, yeah, so I think that'd be fun. But any ideas that you guys have, this Blue Jay was an idea from you guys, so I'm really excited to do this one today. Oh, I forgot that line here on the tail. And it's so much more fun when these are birds or these are animals that you want me to draw because it makes it a lot more rewarding when I get to draw something that you guys have requested. Okay, let's do our tails here, make a thicker line, almost like a W shape <laughs> that we're drawing. Oh, here's another fun fact about blue jays, 
is that when we're talking about these markings, right, we have these really cool markings on here. Now, typically in animals, they look very different. And with birds especially, men and women are, are uh, male and female. That's boy and girl animals. They look very different. Like our lion, you know, the, the male lions, the boy lions have the big mane around their neck and the girls do not. And the same thing with, uh, but a lot of times with birds especially, they'll look very, very different. The, the men will look very, very colorful. The males look very colorful and bright and usually have these really elaborate feathers. And then the, the female birds usually don't. They'll usually look a little bit more plain. But with blue jays, that's not the case. Blue jays, male and female, they both are really colorful and this is their marking. They look exactly the same. Isn't that cool? They're equally beautiful. Alrighty, okay, are we done? Are we done with everything up to our coloring, I think? Yeah. Okay, we'll be thinking of a name for your blue jay. And uh, again, this could be a boy or a girl because of the, the markings are the same. So be creative with the name, have fun coloring. I'm just gonna erase all the sketching underneath and then I'm gonna start coloring. So have fun and we'll catch up right after that. finished coloring and now you can see the markings this is what I was talking about I wanted to leave this bit right over here white right around their face and underneath their neck and on their belly and they also have a few little white stripes that go along on their their feathers so I wanted to add all that in there and I'm really happy with how it turned out this is a lot of fun to color in that was one of those that turned into kind of a um, kind of like a coloring book at the very end. There's a lot of fun to color. So hopefully you guys had a fun time drawing your Blue Jays as well. All right, so I think I've come up with the name for my Blue Jay. I think her name's gonna be Janelle. Janelle the Blue Jay. I really like it. I'm really proud of how she turned out. So I'm gonna make sure to sign my name on my artwork right here in the bottom corner. Just do my initials. So people know that this was me who drew it. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited with how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for showing up again for another week of Brave Kids Art Club. I cannot wait for the rest of the animals this week. Uh, just join us Monday through Friday every single week. It's a daily show, so you can subscribe. And then if you enjoyed this video, please just drop it a like. That really helps me continue to do stuff like this. I'm so grateful for you guys. And remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. Alrighty, we'll see you guys next time.